There are 100 days to go before the opening ceremony of the Tokyo Olympics in July. The torch relay is underway and athletes around the world are back in training. The organizers insist it's full steam ahead, but public support in Japan remains extremely low. The country is facing a fourth wave of COVID infections, with less than 1% of the population having received a vaccination. From Tokyo, Rupert Wingfield Hayes has the full story. These people marching through the streets of Tokyo are not celebrating the coming Olympics, but demanding it be stopped. With COVID infections surging across Japan, 70% of people here now say they don't want the Games until COVID is vanquished. Over at City Hall today, Tokyo's governor, Yuriko Koike, was having none of it. The fight against the coronavirus has been a major ordeal, she says, but I would like us to overcome the virus and make the Games a memorable event. For Governor Koike, this is a political risk. She's going against people like Nobuko Shimizu, who is scared. We can't have Olympic, definitely. My mother is 91, so she's very vulnerable to the COVID things. I think maybe I will take her to the countryside to, to maybe two, two or three weeks away from Tokyo. It's more safe. Japan's elderly are vulnerable because only a handful have been vaccinated. These pictures are from the first group getting their first COVID shot. They're from two days ago. So far, Japan has vaccinated less than 1% of its population. Japan is now in the midst of a fourth wave of COVID infections. The head of Japan's medical association today said the medical system here in the Tokyo area is in danger of collapse. Add to that the lack of vaccines, and you can see why Japan is so vulnerable. One epidemiologist I spoke to today said holding the Olympics in this situation is irresponsible, unethical and unscientific. For the athletes too, COVID is taking a toll. A year ago, now Omura looked certain to be in Japan's first ever Olympic surfing team. But a year without any international competition has ruined those preparations. Nothing's going the way athletes have planned leading up to Olympics. Competition and practice are totally different things. By not having any place to compete, it's hard for athletes to maintain a rhythm. The torch relay has now reached Osaka, the current epicenter of COVID infections. Instead of being welcomed by waving crowds, torchbearers were forced to run around an empty park, waving to no one. It could be a foretaste of what is to come in July. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News, in Tokyo.